and now my microphone was muted, but yeah, I just said hello and that it's time to go, and yeah, and there's a Lin, let's see how this goes. <sighs> Better do a lot of damage to that Zoe now. I kinda feel like I'm having the <laughs> upper hand here though. But now this is the same thing, like it looks like it's almost dead actually, but it's gonna do so much damage to Kai now. Look at this, it's gonna be funny. Oh die already. Ugh. Yeah. I actually took away one injury card on my Zoe because I figured like if there is another Zoe or some shit there first, I just have to kill it. Okay, yeah, there we go. Because uh, yeah, if there is like a Zoe or like an FK, I guess, or or an Arena, for example, first, and they kill my Zoe for some reason, that's not gonna be good. That's gonna be extremely bad. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much that. Uh, let's see now. <laughs> Splash. That was a sturdy one. Not expecting to win this one though. At least we got past the shield. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Alright, Kai. I mean, it's pretty much lost for them at this point since there's double counter, so yeah. Oh wow, the church. So it's just Priscilla. Okie dokie. Oh, yes, we do have uh, the update notes for the next update, KR. So, we're gonna look through that at the end of this video, rather after the games. So, yeah. There's an arena, by the way. Hmm. How did that track there? That was like the longest shot ever. <laughs> Alright, here comes the next one. Hmm. That's hilarious. It's just like a full. Who plays double dark even? Not super scared though. I think we can make quick work of this one. It's pretty much one. Fuck it. <laughs> it was like not doing exactly what I was envisioning here. So if I can just kill it now, 
Yeah. I'll take that. I just wanted for bet, so. <laughs> he was like, okay, I'm gonna run, and then, like, nope, that's not gonna work. And yeah, that's right, it's not gonna work. Um, try that too. You don't run away from Kai too fast. Well, well. Hmm. All right. I really like this team, honestly. Like, there are some issues or risks or whatever, but like, yeah. This lagmeister here. I never have issues here, though. That's the thing. I don't know. I, oh, of course, the start was. Yeah, an issue, but like, yeah, I don't know. It almost feels like... Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely not helping them. <laughs> like, that meteor was like miles behind me. But maybe it depends on where you play from as well, like if you meet someone that lags, right? So the issues that you are facing, maybe I don't, because like, um, whatever, I, I don't know what I'm talking about actually. I mean, I might as well be a fucking trader. I'm not gonna lose that always, so. <laughs> like always. There's not much running room here. I think it would be, Like, you don't really run from arena anyway, so. Yeah. Not on this map, anyways. Alright. I think I've kinda given up on the whole let's do a speedrun thing. <laughs> it's like 8 minutes in now, yeah. It has to be on a Monday. But yeah, got a bunch of runners last Monday and obviously now there are other issues, so... There we go. A bit, but fuck it. Splash. Mm. Mm. That's so dangerous. Playing mono these days. Right. Maybe it's my sword. Okay, halfway done. Wait, that's more than halfway. That's four left. <laughs> Maybe I'm still. I don't know, if I can get like a 13 minute something, then it's a new record, right? As long as it's a sub 14 in a way. I don't know. Okay, I better kill this shit now. That Kai in the end is actually in my favor, but I'm not sure how Parvati is going to be here. Mm. 
What did he do? Waddle waddle. Oh, okay. Let's see what's going on. Which means this game was actually really fast. Maybe. Okay, not super fast actually. Oh, if I can get two people tossing it, like 30 second games, then it's ten and a half minutes now. Now I'm actually getting a bit hyped here. <laughs> I think maybe it can happen. I don't know. Hmm. Right. Oh, that's Rixie. Gildy. Just looking at the timer, I just hit 12 minutes now. And. Yeah. Who is ahead of me? Right. Yaha! Mm. Long queue. Mm. Alright. We have double counter here. Just grab this shit here. I shouldn't have done that. And last one. I think it's like 14 minutes now or something. Will this happen? Maybe. No. <laughs> uh, but this will. I gotta say though, like I really like Kai's attack pattern. So you have the first two stabs, which is like fast, with the... not knockback, what's it called? Um, stab, right? Or gap close, whatever you want to call it. Then you have that little delay on the thing where he's like spinning over his head, which looks really cool. And then you have like that hard attack that comes later, which is like close. And obviously, like if they're running, you only do the two first stabs, but otherwise you can like go through the whole thing and yeah. That's a well-designed hero, mechanically speaking. The buff is obviously debatable, but that's a whole different discussion altogether so yeah um. mm -hmm. 
And there comes the last one with a double counter as well. Interesting. But stats pretty small. Died pretty quickly there. That desperation here, like click, 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 like from her. Yeah, I know that feeling. I hate that when I get into that. Kind of like those fully charged ones, rather, but you know. Yeah, good job, Zoe. Anyways, we're done. Um, top one indeed, and 15.58, and 16 minutes. Fuck! <laughs> Anyways, let's do those update notes now. Yeah, BRB. And we're back. Indeed. Zoom this in a little bit. Lon is getting a new weapon. Looks like a pen, but it's an actual basket. Either way, let's take a look at that. So this is Lon here, translated and ready to go. We're obviously gonna see a better version tomorrow. But yeah, um, she's using her pen to damage enemies. I don't know if she's drawing on them or whatever. And then she draws out the power of the letter, dealing 350% damage, or DPS damage as we call it, DPSD. That's her chain. And special ability, when shorthand hits six times, that's normal attack. So when you hit six times normal attack, Basic party member's crit is increased for 3 seconds. Okay. Ah, uh, it's increased for 3 seconds by 30%. So yeah, 30% crit for 3 seconds when you hit, like every 6 time, right? I am assuming there's going to be 100% uptime of that if you can nuke something. Uh, the smaller the number of enemies within 3 squares, the greater the damage. Okay, so the smaller the amount of... Like, I don't know if this translation is correct, because it's obviously like a Google Translate sort of thing, or, you know. Uh, but let, we're just going to go with what it says here. So, yeah, if it's like... Increases from 10 to 40. So, so basically, if there's only one enemy, I guess she would have 40. And if there's like, you know... I guess it's 10% per enemy, maybe? I have no idea. Uh, so yeah, the fewer enemies close to her, the better. So basically a single target versus a boss. The greater the number of enemies, the less damage you take. So that's where it changes. So then you like... That's interesting, actually. Um, hmm. Alright. So basically, if you get swarmed, you get some little protection. And if you are versus one, yeah. I don't know what the idea of this hold here is. But it kind of looks to me that it's going to be like something for basic ranged raid team, you know. Well, take a look at the weapon. That's the pen. With a name, I don't know what the actual name... I mean, normally you get, like, a name where you can kind of make out what it is, but this might be, like, an actual name name, you know. Anyways, we have some crit here. There's some defense, there's some stamina, there's some skill damage there, and then there's some VSR, 16%. And, of course, let's see here. When equipped, here's ability to change part effect. It's changed to skill damage, yeah, because that's the thing, she will have 90 skill damage, right? Normal attack is changed, and yeah, yaddy yaddy yaddy. Alright, well, doesn't look like a PvP weapon, that's for sure, even though, you never know. I mean, that's the thing, I've, I've said that many times, like, the more amazing they look on this screen, they, the more shit they are, in a way. <laughs> Where, you know, the more dull it looks, maybe, you know, her stats will just be super high and she's just gonna kill everything, you know. I don't know. Well, depends a little bit on the weapon skill too, we haven't really seen that, so we, we kind of got to see it. But yeah, my, my guess would be it's, that it's... Uh, I mean, you have the normal lawn, which is for PvP, and then you have this one, which is more of a PvE one, that would be my guess. And it would make sense, I guess, even though, yeah. Hmm. Anyways, moving on. Super costume. Improvements are made, so special effects are displayed when Plitfire is wears the Black Queen Super exclusive. Ah, okay. I, I guess that's like when you use her own weapon. I mean, the two-hander is going to be like burning. So, yeah, I guess they have just made it so it works there, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then this Japanese Kana, cool, cool, cool. Labyrinth is increased to 55, up from 53, so that would be two more floors each. And there's also... Ah, so I guess this is a new trial, yeah, for boss rush. So immunity to enemy boss defense and property resistance reduction effects. Score bonus from fight. Wait, what? Immunity to enemy boss defense. Wait, that would benefit you. Why would you get more score? Oh, no. It probably means that 
Earth Necklace and Doom cards, whatever, are not gonna work anymore. You know, those negation things basically are not gonna actually work. That's what's not gonna work, not the actual effect. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. And here, Darkness makes uh, probably everything black around you. That's interesting. And the score is changing. Berserk, 20 score bonus. So we have something called Berserk now. I think that's where um, where they get gradually stronger every 10 seconds or whatever. It's going to give 30 instead of 20. Then that stupid laser beam is going to happen more seldom as well. That's nice because I hate that beam. Um, yeah. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, some changes to the bosses. Pattern that was activated, probability changed to uh, be activated regularly. Floor size or floor pattern, this is Shadow Beast by the way, is slightly reduced. Knockback value of the charge pattern is greatly reduced, okay. Um, slightly increases waiting time after using rush pattern, significantly reduces knockback value of ambush and ambush pattern. I think that's when should, uh, it digs down and comes up again. Uh, knockback of Shadow Monster's Illusion rushing pattern is removed, oh, okay. People are gonna love that because that's like when you know it screams and those dudes come flying. It's not gonna do anything now except for damage, but that's whatever. So that's cool. Elfaba, the pattern that was activated by probability changed back to activated regularly. At the beginning of the battle, the starting point is closer to boss. That's nice because you have to like run up there because it starts so far down. The lightning strike pattern is changed to prioritize attacking the player. That's nice as well because that's that's something. We're gonna talk more about this in the podcast, by the way, but that's something I, I feel is like a big improvement for the game. AI and how it reacts to things, because that is one of the things the AI is just super scared of and just amazing at dodging, except that you lose a lot of damage, obviously, when they does, and, you know, it doesn't really deal any damage. Same thing with, like, the spinning laser on Harvester, for example. It's completely useless in terms of a threat, but, you know, it's, um, yeah, so... And then you, of course, have the purple laser towers where they don't give a shit and just die. So, yeah, I I think this is a good thing for DPS. Because then you can just stand away a little bit with that thing and, you know, yeah. The damage reduction debuffs on the curse pattern is great. What? How is that greatly reduced? It's already, it already is greatly reduced. Because, like, I remember when the boss first came out, it was horrible. That thing was super strong, lasted for a while and was just ass. But now they nerfed it so hard. Alright. Huh. Well, I guess it's like whatever then. Hmm. At the beginning of battle, wait, they should just change the curse. So it's like you deal more damage and take more damage or something fun. Not like, well, why even keep it then if it's gonna be like nerfed? Anyways, fairy. Beginning of battle, starting point is closer. Boss, that's nice. The instant movement that appears before the fireball launching pattern is removed. The knockback or the rushing pattern after generating a laser is deleted. Okay. Uh, the preparation time of, yeah, okay. Increases and the t attack time decreases. So, alright. So, it's gonna take longer for her to create the laser once she goes to the right side. And then, I guess, when she um, pushes you and stands in the middle and just derps, it's gonna be shorter. Yeah. This is pretty cool because it's definitely gonna give, like, obviously more damage overall for people. And, yeah, tactics are probably gonna change a little bit. So, that's pretty interesting. Minotaur changed so that fireball firing pattern does not appear first at the start of battle. Pattern that was activated, probability is changed. Okay. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Ah, Colosseum. So you can actually see the history now of games. Uh, this is actually really nice, because I forget sometimes if there is. Like, if someone uses a weird fucking team and I have to actually give a shit and, you know, put things specifically. Um, yeah, it's nice to be able to go back and look there. And of course, if you're being attacked as well, um, you know, it's kind of nice to see what did they do to defeat you, I guess. So yeah, um, that's good. Hmm, Camazone. Noir season. By the way, this is what you can expect um, to have the um, to have the um, achievement tied to it, trio and doing it with curses and all that shit. So yeah, but it's kind of nice actually that we get the curse thing on here because it's actually made for curses this season. I used to hate this season because it's been so poorly designed with eight floors in mind only. However, of course, with you know, a lot more floors in mind, 20 or so. It's actually a pretty great season because then you can actually build things because it didn't really make sense before because you can really build anything. It was just weird. But yeah. Uh, and then we have a new difficulty. So that's hmm, that's actually funny. I need to show you something that I saw earlier in the game. Look at this. We are now here. That's seven, right? You know, VI, yeah. Then there is eight, which is obviously uh, this one. 
Then you have 9, 10, 11, 12. So, so basically this one here, difficult to 12, or um, I guess that would be Conqueror 7. You know, they have prepared a lot. But, if it's already burning, <laughs> I was just thinking, how is it going to look? There's not going to be much left after a while. Because it just gets more and more destroyed, you know, the further we go up, right? So, it's like, we're, we're Conqueror 3 now, that's four more doors after this one. So, one, two, three, four. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cool illustration either way, and yeah. So well, that makes sense, we just had a level up, so I mean, getting this makes a lot of sense. New collection, right, mm. hmm. I would have actually expected something with um, this Conqueror 3 though, actually. Since, you know, m maybe there should be um, some skin or reward for beating it, I don't know. But it doesn't seem to be. Anyways, bug fixes as usual, I'm not going to be that for you, you can do that yourselves. Uh, then we have packages. So here's like, like a mini relay package, by the way. This is funny. So if we just scroll down a little bit here, 2,700 gems, 35 controllers, 37,000 won, which is about 37 dollars. You remove the three, right? But here, it's like three dollars. Yeah, this is 4.4 dollars. Very small one. Three, of course. That's controllers. 60 or six dollars, and then 12 dollars, and then repeat. So basically, yeah, you have some controllers here. That's 10 controllers. Then there's five controllers, another five controllers, so that's 20 controllers, 30 controllers, and a linen hammer. Pretty nice, actually. And you can buy twice. There's that. Then, like I said, we have the usual shit one. 1,000 stamina, same there as always. But here is something that really piqued my interest. So this one here for $37, you're going to get 30 option chain stones, and 50 optional stones, and one epic hammer. And that's going to be bi-weekly. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. I'm really happy about that one actually. It's like option change and, and whatnot, like it's not gonna be a problem anymore. Like if they put the normal packs as well on top of this, and uh, it's gonna be so good. That's uh, nice, because that's yeah, pretty much the end game of Garden Tales <laughs> at the moment. Uh, although I'm actually uh, doing pretty well with that stuff, but, but still. Mm. There are a few things more to do, but yeah. Anyways, we have a new shitty bingo as well. Here's the pick up someone thingy. I think I saw that earlier on our website. Yeah, so the banner is gonna be whatever Lon's new weapon is. And then Lon, of course, Nari, Kanna, and Beach Lorraine, or Summer Lorraine, she's called. Yeah. Right. Hero Growth. Oh, yeah, okay, so they're gonna be boosts somewhere. I think it's the. Uh, Evolution dungeons and that stuff. I can't even remember what the rotation is. Um, do we actually have that in our channel? GT guides? Nope. I don't even know. It should be here somewhere. No, no, no. It's up in our Korea channel. Yep. Let's see. Ah. Let's see. Expedition. No, it's World Exploration. Yeah, sorry. World Exploration. That's where the boost is going to be. I think. It says Expedition Mirror Rift, and then the next one is Exploration. Oh, then we should save our tickets. Uh, one week prior. Right, right, right. Anyways, new raid here with some Easter team, by the looks of things. And that's for Lon. So that's what she uses the paint, uh, or the um, pen for, paint and eggs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meteorite, I don't know why they even add the meteor thing. Like it's a new thing, it's just, yeah, I don't know. And here's some things, we have a new, uh, let's zoom in here, new costume for uh, Lon, and for Ray. I like the Ray one actually, I would actually use that, it looks pretty cool, it's a guitar on her back I think as well, huh, I like that. Um, hmm. And that one for Lon, and I believe, yeah, so we have a basket here with a camera, so that obviously goes very well with the this one. I don't know if this is themed with, hmm. Interesting. So there's a camera there with a little cloud that goes with that one. I'm just thinking because some of them are like sets, right? So I'm just thinking what goes with what here. I don't know if this, whatever it's called, fits this one though. <laughs> Either way, uh, that's it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you all tomorrow. <laughs>